Today, I want to ask you, are you ready? Ready for what? To be hated for his namesake. Let's talk about it. Glory to the Most High, Yah Shalom. What a magnificent day that the Most High has made. We're going to rejoice, we're going to educate, and we are going to teach. Today, I want to give you a word from the Holy Scriptures well before you need it. You see what I'm saying? I want to make sure you get spiritually fed before you realize you're hungry and you don't know what to eat. There is a lot of ignorance, a lot of foolishness, a lot of trifling stuff going on in this world. Some would call it the last days when it talks about perilous times shall come. There's a lot of nonsense and negativity going on. It seems like everybody has that spirit of Absalom, that spirit of Jezebel, that spirit of manipulation. But today I wanna ask you, are you ready? Are you really about that life? Because scripture says, in Gospel of Matthew chapter 10, verse 22, and ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that endures to the end shall be saved, shall be saved. You got to endure this thing to the end. So why is this important? As you move on your journey and your God-given gifts, purpose, and talents, I want you to know that not everybody is going to like what you do. Not everybody is going to like what you stand for. Not everybody is going to like who you serve. You're going to have this problem with people who claim to be children of the Most High Yah. You will realize that there comes envy. There comes jealousness because they're not stepping up and stepping out like you are. And this is the reason I'm telling you, push forward. See, when the scripture is talking about being hated, everything in here is the inspired word of God. He wouldn't have told you this if he knew you wasn't going to need it, you're going to need it because look at what people will get out there and protest for. Look at Black Lives Matter, all this hatred going on in the world, black people, all kind of people getting out there protesting behind Black Lives Matter when it's somebody Caucasian that kills somebody black. But when we kill one of our own people, everybody got better things to do. You see what I'm saying? When you are about this, about this Bible, about this righteousness, about this holiness, be prepared to be hated because in this context, you don't think like the world. You don't move like the world. You can't expect to get the same kind of love that everybody else in the world gets. Your love and your affirmation comes from the most high, y'all, because this is your father. This is your daddy and you are doing his work. You might be in your workplace talking about God, talking about Jesus, talking about Yah, talking about Yahshua, and somebody reports you, keep pushing forward in the name of Yahshua. You see what I'm saying? If they're willing to let you go behind you being about this life, it's telling you, you're going to be hated. People will dislike you, but you endure it to the end, you will be saved. If you give up, how you going to be saved? You see what I'm saying? Everybody has a different purpose. Everybody has different gifts. But I'm calling you today to let you know, don't be scary and stepping up and stepping out in your gifts. There are such things as monitoring spirits. People want to see your every move, your every play, so they can go back and report to the devil so they can try to throw you off your purpose. But no, we pushing forward. Stay prayed up. You see what I'm saying? Stay, stay studied up and stay 10 toes down because you're going to see that some people have received the blessing, have received the gift, have received the talents, but they only want that comfortable sacrifice. They don't want to get out their comfort zone. They don't want to be hated. They want the success. They want the status. This is not what Matthew chapter 10 verse 22 says. If you haven't experienced hatred for standing up for the most high Yah, chances are you ain't really stood up at all. You ain't really walking upright. Because everybody don't like it. You see what I'm saying? We got enemies out there. Spirits are our enemies. Other spirits, foreign spirits, strange spirits. You got to know this. 
I don't want you to be in the workplace and or in home or out in the public. Somebody say something to you. You go zero to 60 because you don't know how to respond righteously. You react. And now you didn't gave them all the ammo to make you sit down somewhere. You have to respond instead of reacting to hatred. Hatred is all around you. Open your mouth up and say glory to the most high yacht and watch and see how many people look at you like you're crazy have no idea what you're talking about. Don't understand it. You know, don't want to be no part of it, but they will hate you for that. It ain't got nothing to do with, nothing to do with skin color. Oh, this goes deeper than that because I have some brother and sisters in the body of Christ, in the body of Yahshua that's from all parts of the world. And they really about that action. They really about that life and they don't play. They out here moving righteously. You see what I'm saying? Many are called, but few are chosen. You got to move like it. So today, expect to be hated for his name's sake. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Check out the link in the description because I'm only shooting it. Gun, barrel, straight.